Hello, hello, and welcome to today's fractional distillation video tutorial. We'll be looking at crude oil and the different hydrocarbon properties in the crude oil and how we use these properties to separate them using fractional distillation. Crude oil, we are able to separate it into its different fractions to separate one liquid from another liquid. Uh, this is what fractional distillation is. So say right here we have this big lump of crude oil and we want to separate them because there are all these different hydrocarbons in them that we want to use for different things. Separating one liquid from another liquid, this can be done. But how can this be done? We can boil them. Crude oil is comprised of different hydrocarbons. These different hydrocarbons lend themselves to having different properties. According to their properties, we, we will know their, we can presume their properties. Therefore, we are able to adjust the temperature at which we boil it, which means at different temperatures, different hydrocarbons will be boiled off and we can collect them. I'll explain this a little bit later on. So as an example of uh, using boiling points to separate something, I have this glass of water right here and I want to separate the alcohol from the water. Just pretend I'm really, really thirsty. I'm really thirsty and I want some water. I do not want alcohol. Uh, this can be done. So as mentioned, we use we can separate them according to their different boiling points. If I were to keep this water glass of water, and if I were to heat it up and keep it at a constant 79 degrees, we would know that at 79 degrees, ethanol should be boiling, yet at 79 degrees, water should not be boiling. So if I take a, a torch to at the bottom or a, a flame to at the bottom, and I heat it up and I, I put a thermometer in there, make sure it's 79 degrees, I will notice that there's a little bit of boilage happening. What is boiling in here? This is the ethanol. Ethanol boils at 79 degrees or it boils at 78.37 degrees and anything hotter than that. So if I keep it at 79 degrees, all this ethanol is boiling, boiling, boiling. Over time, it evaporates, it gets hot, and this glass of water will go lower and lower and lower. And by the end of it, what we'll be left with is water. A more sciencey way of doing this is through the fractional distillation apparatus. Just say I have the same, the same idea, I have water and alcohol in here. And I want to separate them without the ethanol being lost in the environment. I want to savor the ethanol in here. We can do this by heating it up to 79 degrees because at 79 degrees we know that ethanol is boiling. And at 79 degrees, we know water does not boil. We do not want the water to boil. If the water and ethanol boil, it will boil and then it will come through here and we have the same problem uh, of them being still together. We haven't separated them. So 79 degrees, heat the heating mantle up to a constant 79. We notice that there is some boilage. The, uh, what are we boiling off? The ethanol boils, it evaporates, and in here it condenses because it's a lot cooler right here. So the hot steam ends up cooling down. When it cools down, it turns back into its liquid form and it slowly just drips away and we end up getting our ethanol right here. That is how we separate it according to their different temperatures. Uh, now if you... If I wanted to just double check that there is no more ethanol in here because I have to drive after this, there is no more ethanol in here, I can do it again just to double check that there is no more left in there and that's how we triple or double distill it. Let's have a look at a fractional tower showing the oil products and their uses. So we have our smaller carbons, they are used as our gases, our or so, so our smaller hydrocarbons are, and they're slowly increasing in size and we have our big fat heavy hydrocarbons used for the big heavy duty stuff. All right, so we have our crude oil right here. We boil it up to 20 degrees and we know at 20 degrees, all the little light gases, the carbons, one to carbon four, so all these little small little ones will boil, go all the way up, wee, and we can condense it and then collect it. 
Now we can do this again at 70 degrees and then we go wee and at 70 degrees we can condense it, cool it off and collect it. This is how we separate them according to their different properties. We know that small little hydrocarbons have very low boiling points. Big fat hydrocarbons have huge, huge, very hot boiling points. This is so uh, because of their dispersion forces, which you should know about. Uh, and yes, so this is how they uh, separate crude oil, the different uh, products. They separate the products from crude oil according to their different properties. Now, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you listened to it all. If you have any questions, bring them to the class. Uh, I'm unsure to, as to how confused your faces are, so I'm unsure whether I'm explaining this well or not. So yeah, bring questions to class, and I look forward to hearing them, and I look forward to seeing you. Thank you.